The sun rises again over the east coast. As morning dawns on the shore, shorebirds can be seen flying across the ocean and walking on the sand. Shorebirds, such as gulls, pelicans, sandpipers, and plovers, call the New Jersey coast home. On sandy beaches throughout New Jersey, many species of wading birds can be seen running back and forth along the swash and intertidal zone. Wading birds of the New Jersey shore include smaller species, such as sand wings and semi palmated plovers as well as medium-sized species such as American oyster catchers and ruby turnstones. Sander wings are a species of sandpaper that can reach to be 20 centimeters long. They have generally lighter colored undersides and brown, gray, or white speckled bodies. They migrate from their breeding grounds in the coastal Arctic tundra south to wintering grounds on the coast of the southern United States and South America. They can be seen running away from incoming waves and running after receding waves on the swash zone also called just a swash, where water washes back and forth along the beach. Their beaks are as long as their heads. They use their beaks to reach for small animals to create crustaceans, mollusks, and worms depending within the sediment. Sometimes, instead of running away from an incoming wave, they may stand against the wave and wash themselves in the running water. If they cannot outrun a wave, or if they sense the dangers near, they may decide to take off. The aftermath of sand wings feeding can be seen where signs of their beaks reaching into the sand, leaving small holes can be seen. Another small wading bird often seen alongside sand wings are semi palmated plovers. Semi palmated plovers are a species of plovers who grow to be around 19 centimeters long. They have short orange beaks with black tip. They have white undersides and brown bodies and heads. Around their necks they have a white colored collar pattern and a black colored bib pattern. They travel from their breeding grounds and gravel shores in the Arctic North to coastal winter grounds in the southern United States and South America. They feed on aquatic arthropods and small mollusks. Though they can be seen feeding their sandlings, they prefer to avoid further sections of the swash zone, as their shorter beaks do not enable them to get food as deep as sandwing vipers. Both sandpiper species, like the sandwing, and plover species, like the semi palmated plover, have similarly shaped, tiny, three toed footprints that can be seen left in the sand. Larger than both semi palmated plovers and sandwings, though smaller than adult seagulls, is the ruddy tarn stone. Reaching sizes of 24 centimeters, ruddy turnstones have orange colored legs, short in comparison to their body size in comparison to many other wing birds. They have reddish brown and black colored bodies with white undersides and heads. They have black tapering beaks and a black bib pattern around their neck and throat. They too have breeding grounds in the northern Arctic and winter grounds in the southern United States and South America. They feed on aquatic insects, small crustaceans, and small mollusks. When feeding, they tend to feed in similar areas as sand and wings. Runny turnstones are quick to take flight in order to move away. Larger than the three previously mentioned species is the American oyster catcher. They grow to be around 50 centimeters tall. They have a black neck and head, bright reddish orange eyes and beak, brownish colored back, tail, and wings and white colored bodies and other sides. They feed on mollusks, small marine worms, and crustaceans. Their breeding grounds are in the northern Atlantic coast of the United States, and their wintering grounds are south of their breeding grounds, including, but not limited to, South America, the Gulf Coast, and southern the United States. Their long legs and long beak let them reach deep into the sediment in deeper waters to get food. 